are about 1,210 villages scattered all over the Markazi province in the central western side of Iran. Among all these big and small and old and new villages, 35 have been noted as rural tourism destinations, and today we're going to check out two of them, starting with the village of Hezave that's in the central district of the provincial capital of Arak. Before I give you the actual reason for our visit, let me tell you about the two meanings behind its name. According to one saying, this area used to be surrounded with rivers and lakes, the numbers of which increased during the rain season. This village used to be known as Hezarabe, which in Farsi means a thousand streams. This word later changed to Hezave in the local dialect. In addition to being one of the two great production poles of the Markazi province with grapevines that can excite anyone with a soft spot for nature and green sceneries, the village of Hezave is also the birthplace of three noteworthy Iranian figures of the Farahani line, the most famous of whom is Amir Kabir. Amir Kabir served as the Prime Minister of Persia under the fourth Qajar king Nasir Eddin Shah. The Markazi province isn't all green hills, mountains and streaming lakes. It has another harsh and less accommodating facade, semi-barren desert areas that have been the reason for the creation of some intelligent architectural constructions. Some of these constructions are still in use and some have turned into symbols of age-old ingenuity. The traditional Persian ice house is a fine example of what can be achieved without electricity. In the old days, people would store ice in huge pits in the winter. They would cover these pits with big cone-shaped domes. This one is 10 meters high this way. The hottest air would rise to the top while the coolest air stayed at the bottom where the ice was. In addition to all of this, they would surround this structure with tall walls that would prevent sunlight from hitting the dome directly. And that is how you had ice during the hot days of summer. The Nimbar Ice House is near the city of Nimbar along the Mahalla Delhi John Road, where temperatures go well over 30 degrees centigrade in certain months of the year. Our second rural tourism destination is the village of Anjadan, which is 35 kilometers to the east of the provincial capital of Arak. Anjadan owes its colorful features to the springs and aqueducts that provide it with sweet, clear water. One of these natural springs is located at the heart of Anjadan, whose water streams through the village alleys, turning corners until it reaches the traditional bathhouse. Islam puts a lot of emphasis on keeping oneself clean at all times. And so when it began to take root in old Persia, traditional public baths started to pop up in all corners. But these facilities weren't just a place for men and women to bathe and clean up. They were also a common area for discussions, debates and exchange of ideas. Normally, a traditional bathhouse is made up of at least three sections, a dressing hall, a washing area and a hot bathing hall or garmkhane in Farsi. This was usually a square or an octagonal room that had a traditionally large water-filled basin in it called khazine. این بخاری رو که شما می‌بینید الان توی کف این برای سیستم گرمایش از کف بوده که در از زیر خزینه وقتی که هیزم روشن می‌کردن تا گرم بشه گرمای اضافی اونجا مکش می‌شده می‌اومده این کف‌ها رو در از گرم می‌کرده این در از سیستم گرمایش از کف مکانیکی برای حمام‌های ایرانیه Of course, this bathhouse now serves as a local museum. 
Compared to its small population, Anjadan has a notable number of mosques and congregation halls that point to its religious significance in the old days. Based on documented historical records and the gravestones found in its burial grounds, the village has been dated back to the early Islamic period. The landscape around Anjadan is adorned with many mountains and according to the inscriptions found at the foot of these mountains, Anjadan is where the Ismaili Imamat, a branch of Shia Islam, was transferred to in the late 14th century common era. That in itself adds to Anjadan's importance. This is Golnafanudi for Iran.